Good morning, everybody. My name is Dr. Shivago, and if you don't know me, you can look up on my bio. It's on the down bar below. Click on it or visit my website at www.drshivagoglobal.com. And uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I'm going to be producing these. Um, it's going to be available very soon because it's in high demand. Masks everywhere are being depleted as we speak. Hospital gowns, gloves. I don't know if there's, you know, enough enough people that could produce it or materials. I mean, the, the caseload that's going on right now with this, this issue that we have, I can't even say the name because, um, you know, demonetization or for fear that this video will not be um, shown because of the word. Um, and I'll put it down below. Uh, well, you know, you know what it is. Anyways, um, I created these masks and as some of you don't know, I'm a surgical technologist for 18 years. I retired in 2011 because I was um, injured at work and I developed a autoimmune disease because of the stress and the workload. It was to me, it was very gratifying as a career for the 18 years I was in it. But I decided that, you know, for my mental health and my physical health, that I would, you know, change over to my real passion, which is art and graphic design and being a cartoonist and an author and an educator in the arts and VAPA, visual and performing arts. I thought that would be my, my new path. And so with this crisis, with my 18 years of experience, my sister is a registered nurse and also a director um, public health director and um, communications and uh, data for UCSD. And she's very up there in management and direct and direction. She's one of a kind. She's the first one to start off the, uh, the communications and the data for UCSD uh, for all hospitals. So um, she texted me and she's all, can you make me a mask with more protection on it? They're just giving us paper masks. And I was just like, oh my gosh, my, my own sister is, you know, in need of a mask and these masks globally are needed. So I decided to, you know, design one because me being in 18 years in surgery, having to wear a mask, it, it was a love hate relationship because, you know, sometimes the, well, the surgical masks are different. These are definitely for not medical grade, but in the time being right now, people need them. So uh, I developed this mask and um, this is made of polypropylene, which is the same material you can find on scrubs and uh, masks and the N95 masks. So this mask, I decided to have it with, let me take this off the, the dummy head here. Sorry, you're not a dummy. <laughs> and place it on my head. So I developed this one and it's conforming to the face. I have a big head, so it may not fit um, some people with smaller heads. So I like it because I could go to the store, quickly put it on, loop it around my ear to ear, and then just, you know, put on my jacket and not have to worry about, you know, oh, tying it on and if it comes untied I'd have to it's always looped around my ear and so I can definitely you know also adjust it with my nose here and it's it's conformed it's got a metal piece right here and then on the nose bridge and it has enough room because I put pleats here and here because I know that the nose bridge comes out on some people and you need that bend right here. Also, there's a, you know, pleat right here so that it would angle in towards the chin. And I know people really want that air. So I put some pleats out here so that there'll be more air space. Now the, the material polypropylene is, is thin, but the, the reason why they choose it for uh, medical is because it's uh, it's got smaller holes in the um, in the fabric and it's it's basically made out of uh, plastic and paper and it's and it, it 
definitely filters out the air a little bit more than cloth. Let's say somebody made a whole bunch of uh, masks with this cloth. So you could see that the, you know, the, the, you know, the air, the vapors in the air, it could easily go through regular fabric. But with this one, it kind of, uh, it gives it this a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of that shield because the, the water will go on it, but it will drip down. It won't absorb through as much as uh, fabric. So that's why I made it like this. Also, I put a little bit of padding here because, you know, the plastic, it is plastic, so it will, you know, rub on your skin and it'll kind of irritate you. So I'm making, you know, a ton of these and I'm starting today. I really like this design. And also my sister who is a nurse, you know, the nurse at UCSD, um, she also likes the pleated ones. Let me take this off the head here. Sorry, this is a glass head. Okay, be all fancy with a glass head. And this one, it goes around the head with band. And I was just going through a whole bunch of, you know, uh, prototypes and I was like, oh, this, this is kind of too much, you know, this is a lot fancy, but just to give you an idea, you know, with string, just imagine a string, you know, have to tie behind. And this is a little bit more suffocate, not suffocating, I don't want to say suffocating, but um, a little bit more flatten. It'll give you a little give with the, with the pleats, but as you could tell, you know, that that's what it looks like right there. I really like this design. Some of um, the nurses like this design with the pleats and that's what they have at the hospitals because that's what the masks look like. And it's easier for them to manufacture those faster than something like this, which will, you know, include lots of, okay, the person's gonna have to fold it and then they have to tack it in and sew it. And then they have to put in a wire in here with, you know, with the regular masks like these, it's just easier for someone to fold them and, and then put it through a machine and seal it at the ends with glue or, you know, staples. Some N95 masks have staples in them. So um, if you're gonna be making multiple one-use one use, uh, masks, uh, you're gonna have to make them quick and you're gonna ha they have to be designed with the, uh, to keep it in mind, to keep the process of, of manufacturing them faster but these are more for like if you want to go shopping or if you just want to go out and you're like say you're um mowing the lawn and you don't or you're cleaning you don't want to breathe in those particles this is basically for you so i'm going to be opening up my um my new sewing machine that i bought as a gift for me my birthday and i will be showing you then that unboxing on the next video okay i'll see you guys soon and um hope to see you masked up please wear your mask in this time of need right now we don't want to you know spread spread the germs and the bacteria and the virus but just putting this on your face stay at home stay at home stay at home only when you need to uh wear gloves suit up it's gonna it's gonna stop let's just keep positive and keep moving okay be motivated and keep busy at home Bye.